Good morning fam and happy Thursday. Our latest will be about Zuma, MK Party and the ANC. Let's follow up on that. ANC leaders have been acting strange since Zuma reintroduced the MK. As we know, they have previously disbanded MK and they wanted nothing to do with it. But since Zuma endorsed MK, they are now changing their tune. This past week, Banyasali Sufi ANC chairperson was on record saying the ANC is planning to employ over 3,000 MK veterans. Remember, these are people who were neglected since they came back from exile in the 90s, but now ANC is busy with MK and they're also making plans to employ them. Some of these people lived in poverty since they got back from exile and some even died poor, but suddenly there is a change of tune by the ANC. Another thing is that MK veterans are elderly people. Most of them are over 60 and some are even over 70. But ANC is saying they are going to employ them to fight crime in Gauteng. That's interesting indeed. We're not sure if they are doing this because of Zuma or what. Please listen to Banyasali Sufi in the next slide when he was addressing this issue. Please remember to also leave your comments down below and let us know of your take regarding what you've covered. And that's all we have for now. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye. There are four issues that you are going to fight these elections with in Gauteng. There are four issues. The first one, comrades, is that as the Gauteng Provincial Government, from the 1st of February, we will start to employ people so that we don't have young people that are unemployed in our province. Comrades, there were 35,000 young people came to an end in October and 35,000 young people. We also want to declare, comrades, From the 1st of March, from the 1st of March, we need veterans of Umkonto Wesizwe. From the 1st of March, we need those that were part of MK and other military organizations. We need 3,000 of you to come and join the provincial government to go and fight crime in Gauteng. All combatants of Umkonto Wesizwe, don't go that side. Come this side. On the 5th of February, we want to take you to train you to come and work and fight crime in Gauteng. Comrades of Soweto, Comrade of Soweto, we knew ESCOM was an opposition political party in Soweto. I want to declare to you, all the transformers that were not working in Soweto, the government that I have the honor to lead, have bought 2,500 transformers. We are coming to install all those transformers in all our areas. There will be no area that will not have electricity in Soweto. From next week, we are installing six transformers every week until every part of Soweto has electricity. Comrades, before I sit down, I want to declare to you that the government I have the honor to lead believe in education. For the first time in the history of education in our province, 
we've got close to almost all our district offices, all our matriculants in Gauteng, out of 10 matriculants, 8 have passed with bachelor passes, and there are 57,000 of them in Gauteng are going to fill universities across the province. And we are saying, comrades, every child that is number one in each and every school in Gauteng, every child that is number two in each and every school in Gauteng, every child that is number three in each and every school in Gauteng, Gauteng government is offering a bazaar until you think of Nelson Mandela. We are children of Thabo Mbeki. And we are children of Cyril Ramaphosa.